Hi everyone, I'm Craig Muirhead from PipingClub.com and today we're going to look at a really famous Scottish tune called The Dark Island. This is one of those ones that uh, grannies and grandpas all over the place love to hear. Um, it's a slow air and it's got quite a bit in it. It's got your grace notes, E doublings, D throws, B doublings, F doublings, um, it's got a biddle in there. So if these are the sort of things that you're not sure of, then check back my older tutorials and um, get yourself up to speed with those movements and then come back and try the tune. Uh, the music's available by signing up for free at pipingclub.com on the Already Play page. Uh, so please head over there, sign up um, and download the pack of music. Excellent, so we're going to work through it nice and slowly, taking a couple of bars at a time. Um, I'll talk through the bar, then we'll kind of talk and play through the bar, then we'll try and piece it all together. So the first couple of bars, starting uh, on the low A, a G grace note. And then you're going to play a D grace note to B. Then we've got an E doubling. Then you've got a G grace note to B. There's a short B there and you're straight back up to E. And then down to a D throw. G grace note to E. And back. To D. That's the first two bars. So starting with the G grace note to low A, D grace note to B. Now you're going up to an E doubling. Remember to get your B finger back down. Now you're playing a G grace note to B and an E grace note. Now it's a D throw. A G grace note to E and then a D. So now if we play that all together, the first two bars. Good stuff. On to the third bar now. And it's a B doubling. It's a G grace note to low A, a D grace note to low G, a G grace note to low A, low A again, then a D with a G grace note and an E. So we're starting with the B doubling, then it's a G grace note to low A and a D grace note to low G. This is like a tachem, this is called. So you're on the B. Once more, G grace note to low A, D grace note to low G. And finish off with a G grace note to low A. Then the G grace note to D and the E leads into the next two bars, which gives us an F doubling, an E, a G grace note to D, a G grace note to F, straight to high A, and then down to low A. So again, nice and slow. We'll go from the D and the E at the end of the fourth bar here, uh, as a lead-in to these uh, these next two. So from the G grace note to D at the end of the fourth bar. Now we're playing a G, uh, uh, F doubling. Now an E and a G grace note to D. Now a G grace note to F and a high A. I finish off with a plain low A. Trying those two bars together uh, from the G grace note to D at the end of bar four into five and six. Now we've got a G grace note to F, a high A, an F again, and then a G grace note to E, F grace note to E, that's an E doubling. 
So from the um, low A at the end of bar six, we're still in line one here, quite a long tune. We're playing a G grace note to F. Now it's a short high A and then straight back down to F. And an E doubling. Now the next two bars with the leading notes um, from the end of this line are exactly the same as the first two bars or actually the first four bars in the first line. So we already know them, we'll take them, take them really slowly but we'll play them together from the G grace note to low A at the end of the first line. the final four bars of the first part as we're halfway through line two from the G grace note to D and it's a G grace note to D E F doubling low A high A F E doubling okay we'll try those so we're starting with the G grace note to D E and then an F doubling. Now we're going to low A, high A, and F. And an E doubling now. Now low A, G grace to F, E. Now it's just a long D throw. And a G strike on D. Remember, if you're not sure of any of these movements, go back. There's full tutorials on YouTube, so you'll find them all there. Also, pipingclub.com, um, and you'll find all the resources, all the exercises to get the technique right, and the tunes. So um, let's try the last four bars all together nice and slowly. From the G grace note to D in the middle of line two. Good stuff. So we're going to try the full first part now. So that's the first two lines. Quite a long blow here, so you might need a little break afterwards. Here we go. After two, really slowly. One, two. Now at that point you would repeat the part, but I'm not going to ask you to do that. If you found that really difficult, just rewind it, take it really slowly and work through it a bar at a time. Don't feel like you have to play it along with me immediately. Um, but that is the first part of the tune broken down. So like I say, keep referring back. Um, that was a long blow, I'll have a sip of my tea. And my nice tartan mug here. Now, the next, um, the next part of the tune, the second part, the, um, well, there are similarities like there are in lots of pipe tunes. So we're just going to work through it again, the bits that we don't know, um, which aren't, which there aren't many of, and then uh, the bits that we do know, we'll just, we'll just revise, we'll just go over again. 
and then we'll be able to piece the whole thing together. So um, the first couple of bars of the uh, of the second part, so we're on line three here in the music from the pipingclub.com site. Um, we're starting with a G grace up to F. Then we've got a high G. Then it's a high doubling, which is just high strike. Now we're playing a barrel down from high A to low A. So you play the low A first and then the barrel. Okay? E da da da. Then we're up to a G M a th a F doubling. I could have to spit that one out there. Uh, an F doubling. And then an E. And then a D. So from the start of the third line, the G grace up to F, high G, high A doubling. Then we'll play the high E again and we'll drop down to low E with the barrel. So remember the, the low E comes first, then the barrel comes in. Now we're on a, an F doubling. I almost forgot what it was called again. And an E and a D to end. Try them together. Now we've got a tack on here. So it's a G grace note to B and a D grace note to low G. Then a D grace note to B again, and a G grace note to low A. So from the G grace note to B and D grace note to low G, called a tacum, so it goes. Keep that nice and big right now. Now a D grace note to B again. G grace note to low A. So we'll piece them together from the tacum, from the G grace note to B, on bar three of line three. So we'll piece what we've got together already because things are about to get far more familiar. So from the start of line three of the tune, the start of part two. You'll be glad to hear from this point on, we don't really have to talk through the tune because as far as I can see, it's the same um, as from the same point in, in uh, the first part. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's pretty much identical. So we can break it down into maybe four bars at a time just to play through it nice and slowly. So we're going from the G grace note to D in the fourth bar of line three on the music that you've got from pipingclub.com. Okay, and it's exactly the same as the same point in line one. So we'll play to the end of the line slowly. Let's play the whole line um, and then you're going to recognise the next line too. Um, so let's try from the start of line three Now from the G grace note to low A at the end of the third line of the tune, it's exactly the same as the uh, as the second line of the tune. So we already know this, so we'll play it really slowly.
great stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the piano and play a little accompaniment. And when you feel you're ready to play this tune uh, to the, the sort of speed that it should be played, then you can play along with a nice accompaniment and hopefully make some nice music at home. Thanks uh, for checking out the video. Remember pipeclub.com, you'll get lots of resources. Um, but we will play this all together with a piano accompaniment um, and hopefully it works out for you and you enjoy that. Okay, so we'll see you again soon. Thanks.